everybody, welcome back to Tess's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. Today I'm going to introduce some sister styles and sister colors. Two very similar colors and styles from two different brands coming up. Here is the Raquel Welch's Editor's Pick in their brand new Iced Sweet Cream RL1622. I have a full video on that discussing this color. It's a beautiful addition to their Cool Tones collection and it just comes across as a very cool, unrooted platinum. And I know that hits the sweet spot for a lot of you that don't like the darker roots. So Ice Sweet Cream on this piece just reminds me of a blend of some very pale beige and some very pale gold blondes. It's just so heavily frosted with a pure white that it just comes across as a minorly dimensional platinum. It reminds me so very much of the one in the back here you see. This is the Belle Tresses Marshmallow Blonde on the Style Caliente. So if you like the Caliente in this color, I think you would love the Raquel Welch's Editor's Pick and the Ice Sweet Cream. Let's compare. So looking at this Marshmallow Blonde by Beltress, again, you're going to see some very similar tones here, um, but this one is a true blending of platinums, like a 101, 102, 103. You're gonna see some dimension just because of the variation in the different levels of platinum. There's a buttery looking platinum, which gives it a tad touch of warmth and then more of a neutral and a beige as well. And when you look at both of these next to one another, they look very, very similar. And you really have to study them to pick up on some of the differences here. So looking at the styles, then again, very similar. If you like one, you'll probably like the other. The editor's pick has a beautiful four and a half inch bang area here and the Caliente is seven. Um, now there's a bit of a contour and it kind of sweeps back into the style, so they look nearly identical that way. And then overall around 12 and a half inches on both of these styles, and it's a choppy, beachy wave texture. I think there's a little bit of tapering at the ends on the Caliente that you may not encounter as much on the editor's pick. So one last word on these colors. Now these colors present a unique issue for the cap. Both of these feature a very light pale cap, wig cap underneath, okay? And it's still sometimes not quite enough to obscure the wefts uh, just because it's such a light, nearly translucent color in places on platinums that you can see through. So you may have to use some strategic styling. I suggest wearing a cream, a very light or cream colored cotton wig liner underneath and this definitely will help smooth out the uh, picture underneath so it kind of blends into the hair a little bit better on the outside. So these are definitely sister styles and colors. We'll get right to our side-by-side -side comparison. Everybody have a wonderful day. We'll see you next time on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.